Rip Slimbaugh's wit and wisdom has blessed the lives of many Americans. You can hear some of that wit and wisdom here on the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. Happy, 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 happy Tuesday. Uh, this is Jimmy on the Jimmy and Hendrick, uh, 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 the James Hendricks School of Leadership. You know, um, I meant to do this podcast earlier, but you know, exigent circumstances, please forgive me. Um, you know, I gotta say, Kamala Harris's uh, pollings, they've got to be seriously down. I don't really observe polling data before an election. I mean, to some degree, they have been right. But not always. In 2016, they predicted Hillary to be the winner. Wrong. Trump won. <laughs> now, I'm not going to go through 2020. Okay, I'm going to take the same approach as J.D. Vance. Let's move on. <clears throat> now, here's one thing that is uh, ruining Kamala Harris's chances. The hurricane in the Gulf. People just utterly stranded without help from FEMA. Why is that? Thanks to Kamala, our borders are. More money was spent on illegals. Talk about a dangerous precedent here. And people are asking some pretty hard questions. And the only... I gotta say this. The only coherent answer coming out of Kamala as far as the budget or anything, is tax the rich. Now, I'm kind of like now, whoa, that's President Harris. It's kind of like, whoa. We've got a little bit, you know, let's just go ahead and give her the bill. Class, okay, class is in session. Basic economics, okay? You do not tax the rich in hopes to stimulate the economy and, and clean up this mess. All right, look at 1980. The U.S. was in a big fix under Jimmy Carter. Okay? You think about it. The, by October 1980, the country was one in one of the biggest messes ever. And the outcry of Americans that year was, we want Reagan. And this year, I can tell you right now what, what it is, what it should be. We want Trump. Because everybody knows what, what Trump is capable of what he can do, what problems he has, you know, what he can do regarding the problems that we have. This hurricane under a Trump presidency, that would have been made because we wouldn't be spending so much on, on illegals. Look, I have compassion for him, but Quite a few of them about being let in are criminals. And so it's time to have a president send a message to all these countries that are, you know, just having these illegal split into our border. It's time to send a message. Now, the Harris juggernaut is not just the border and the hurricane. How about inflation? A lot of families are being hit, you know. There's time that, times that my girl and I do talk about inflation. But we try to keep up a, a cheery face. And, you know, like my friend and I, uh, 
Carter, which he's going to be on the show in a cup in about ten days, and we're going to talk about what's the missing ingredient in politics and everything, and the right mindset that we need to have. But Kamala Harris, when you know it, just at the right time, Biden steps down. Who do you think asks him to step down? The Clintons, Nancy Pelosi, Barack and Michelle Obama. The powers that be in that swamp in D.C. want him to step down because they know he's, in, he's uh, ineffective. That the Biden paradise he promised four years ago is a hoax. Now, there's some topics that a lot of political pundits love to rub in, and this stuff that's been happening the past three and a half to four years ago. And those topics will, I will not touch. Not just because they can put me in YouTube jail, but because, quite frankly, I believe the American people have heard enough. Okay? Because... COVID, I stopped watching the news because it was depressing me. The thing that happened January 6th, I wasn't even watching the news. So I can't form a requisite opinion about that and, and be objective. Okay? My political science background is is how I have really... Um, it's how I've really shaped my ideology to where, you know, you just don't, you don't just say what you support. You back it up. You have some, some analysis. You have some analysis. You have some reason, thought. And the Trump... Juggernaut is creating another ice age in the American political landscape. <laughs> Independents are tired of the Democrats giving the same old tired deep state policies. And such independents as myself are tired. I've seen people like, you know, sadly, Mitt, uh, Mitt Romney and Dick and Liz Cheney. Of course, we can expect that from Dick and Liz Cheney to support Kamala. I don't really want to go there because really all that stuff turns my stomach. Because we talked about the Joe Biden uh, juggernaut and we've talked about well, really Kamala. And we're not done. Now, tomorrow we're going to talk a little bit more about the congressional juggernaut and the nomenclature. And get ready because I'm going to be talking. I'm going to be talking about going against both parties on this one. Well, I hope you can enjoy listening to the show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership Classroom. Until, until next time, keep up the hope. Keep up the faith. When you self soothe say this, Jesus saves and I'm okay. So remember this. Jesus saves and we're all going to be okay. Take care and be proactively informed. God bless you. And remember this. From the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really, 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 really love you. God bless you, and please have a blessed day. See you tomorrow.